<laughs> oh, good morning. Good morning. Where are we going today? Oh, big yawn. Have you finished morning yet? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another lucky vlog. Well, we are currently on route to a Launceston Horse Trials for the British Riding Club qualifiers and I am taking part in my first 100 one day event in almost two years. jolly, not jolly. I am jolly, you're not jolly. I'm joined today by my glamorous assistant, my husband. We Debbie. The Babe, the majority of people will be far oh, too young to get that joke. Oh, yeah. Who's not particularly happy about having to get up at 5.50 on a Sunday morning. However, Em wanted to travel alone again. Um, so, yeah, he had to come along, give me moral support. I don't want to go on my own. And, and anyway, to be fair, you do always want to go. You do generally always come to Norton because it's our most local venue. You've no beer tent today. No, I know. Um, our most, most local venue is only about an hour and 15 minutes. If you're old school, you'll know that. You'll have seen lots of vlogs that have been filmed here over the years. If you're new, then welcome and enjoy the ride. Not gonna lie, my tummy's doing butterflies. My tummy's doing butterflies? Somersaults. Somersaults. It's full of butterflies. I feel nervous, but excited nervous. Just have to take each phase at a time. Banksy's been wired again this week, so we'll see what it's like. I've been wired. You've been, you're tired out. You've had a hard, busy working week. Um, you have. It's glorious weather. That's a big positive, as you probably can't even see my face because the sun is glaring in on it. And we're about 20 minutes away from the venue. It's all go. It's seven o'clock right now. Um, and as soon as I arrive, I will be running the cross country course because. Well, it sounds ages away, but my dress size is at 10, so maybe I was panicking slightly. I think we're about 20 minutes away. I wanted to be there for half past seven, so. It means you've got up five hours before you've got a week. Yeah. Let's go. Spent all day yesterday getting ready. It, 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 if anything, really is nuts. Yeah, it's it is. not easy to race cars. Actually, I lie. I didn't spend all day yesterday getting ready. I spent quite a bit of time watching four star at Victon, which was awesome coverage by Horse and Country TV. It was very good. And I was sat in the sun watching it and enjoying it. Okay. I was vlog editing too. If you haven't seen that vlog guys, when I went show jumping on Wednesday evening, that vlog is now live. Thanks, he was super, super speedy in the jump off. Very much enjoyed it, but I need to control that exuberance today because he might think that we get to go jump wee off the end. But to be fair, I did say in that video, he does jump a lot better out of an open stride. So. Got to push forwards, leg on. Right, rub things and gassing too much. Back. Hey, three minutes for an intro is quite sh short for me. I'll see you when I'm in the start box. We've arrived, and as you'll have just seen. There's only one other lorry here, and I'm a lot earlier than I anticipated, so it wasn't late at all. You would never I can stop fretting. be any good at my hobby. Your hobby? Well, it was. Right. Yeah. yeah. Babe, that's... You yeah. would never get to the control on time, or you'd be two I, hours I'm too early. I'm early. early. I'm not two hours early, I'm early. Penalised, anyway. penalised. Let's go walk the course then. That means you can walk the course with me. Thanks, that is a supportive husband right there. have some it's gonna be hot today of course you won't come on don't hide from me what are you doing thanks i'm a drinky don't go camera shy on me looking nice and clean and shiny white leggies you want some nope not playing today why are you going camera shy on me what are you doing it'd be good if i could leave that there but you'll make a mess Have a slap. Go on. No, you can take a horse to water. You can't make a drink. Right, going to walk the course. See you in a bit. 
and let's hope it's not too frightening. <gasps> no. Ready? Are you coming with me? Hey? It feels a bit weird only having one lorry and me here. <laughs> I've not even got that earlier times. Oh dear. Right, heading to the start box. I've had to download the cross country app because as you guys, if you've been here a while, will know that M normally does the course and walk up on her phone. And we're actually doing different tracks today. So even if we travel together, I just still had to do it. So I've downloaded it and I'm going to do it all by myself like a big girl. Um, but yeah, that does mean I don't know how much of the course I will film because I'm going to be confused by doing the app. Need to concentrate, pay attention. Oh, nice log for fence number one. See, yeah, normally I'd just go to fence number one, but I need to go start box, don't I? No, that's a lie. I do always go to the start box. That is a lie. Right. Playing, they've been kind to us. Well, they have been kind to us by giving us all this information right at the very beginning, which is a very good look. Optimum time, 5.24. And then all the jumpy jumps, 23 efforts. 18 numbers and a few combinations and a lovely course plan map very good thank you launston allowed to go that bit faster at 100 so speed 475 whereas 90 speed 450 so hopefully that should work well for us Just said to Robert, I'm pink today, not orange. That's what I need to remember. When we do 90s, we say orange carrots. And when we do 100s, we say pink pigs. All right. And it's running the opposite way to what it normally does. So we're going out where we would normally be finishing. And then finishing where we would normally be going out. I say normally, I think they did run it this way last year, but every other year that I've been here, oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, that's quite big for fence too, considering the brush isn't much brush. It's chunky, isn't it? It's right, isn't it? Walk across with Robbie, he'll make you feel confident, won't you, babe? Fence three. Oh, a nice beefy trichina for fence three. What are you saying, babe? Yeah. It drops our way a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Fence four is nice, I like fence four. All right, I'm gonna come through that gateway after fence four and then a big round swoop in line and then go over to that boat. Just quite beefy too. It's fine, it's just like a roll top but painted and made to look like a boat. He's jumped that many a time before. Just make sure I use my space here, actually like come out to that hedgerow and then get a nice line keep this way a little bit yes that's my plan our first water crossing that's a good thing about launston is they have lots of natural water crossings i'm gonna keep left through that gateway and then keep right through this gateway because i got a skinny on the way out hay cart everybody loves a hay cart quite a chunky hay cart in comparison to the other two but it'll be fine we love a hay cart hey Quite big. You don't say that. You normally go, ah, it's tiny. Can they go to the impulsion through that water? Oh my goodness. That's quite an uphill, isn't it? Yeah. And the water is quite good. Oh, and then. Look at how you've got the side laid down. If he's going on, that's nice too, but I think. Depending on how we land on top of the step, it might have to be a little three. We'll probably chip one in, knowing us. Chunky wide table for fence number nine. <sighs> Use the hedgerow, get nice and straight. And we're heading to a wishing well, a skinny one. Right, here I need to have brakes and control because he was a little blighter at something like that at Morton. So he's not doing that today. He is jumping it. And the line kind of makes you look like you want to jump the 90, not the 100, doesn't it? All right, let's stride it. No, that's 10B. 10B. It's also chunky. Hey, at least we're jumping the wider side of it, not that side of it, I guess. 
another dracaena but it's got a nice ground line and we've definitely jumped that one before Whew. okay it's got a nice ground line till you get close and then you're like oh that's a wide ditch hey at least it's not that one nice little let up fence as number 12 but just because it's a let up fence must not be complacent made that mistake here two years ago i think it was <laughs> See what I said about the water crossing, our third water crossing. Woo, it is deeper. Woo. And faster flowing. And then a brush on the way out. Banks 14's pretty. Oh. Fence 15 was just saying must not be complacent and have tired leggies here. Because yeah, we don't want to hit a rail near the end. Number 16, and we're almost home. Definitely picking this side of that because, I don't know, it just looks a bit nice. An ultimate fence, or fences, should I say, because it's a combination. A box, and an angled box. So, looks like it's about two strides, but obviously I'll walk it. Okay, it's much more of an angle when you get to it, but... Look at that tree and just ride straight, I think. And the final fence. Number eight. Not gonna lie, I've got everything on the course. It's the second to last that I've just gone, ooh. But don't overthink it. Just try and pick a spot in the distance and ride a straight line. It's just very chunky that if we were to fit, try and chip a third in, it might be a bit like, oh, I can't get over that. From... So I need to ride. I need to push on and get the two strides and not think about the fact it's an angle. Right. Final fence, it's half past eight. I need to stud up and be ready in an hour. Hopefully that's doable for me, but you guys know what I'm like. Um, yeah. The lorry park's filled up since I've been gone. Look, loads of people here. And Em's just text saying that they are nearly here too. Duds are in and the husband is happy. Bacon and egg and a coffee. Right, I'm going for a quick wee and then it's just get me ready. Right, we're ready. Ready, well, we will be once the bridal's on, but I'm ready. Definitely too hot for a jacket today. Glorious blue sky. Jen very kindly did my numbers for me and just dropped them off. See you in a minute. And time to get on, I'm braving the spurs. I'm hoping that he's going to be as lethargic as Pondersville and I'm going to keep them on but see what he's like in the warm-up. Might yet yeah, take them off before going down the centre line. <laughs> we'll see how brave I am. Okay, thankfully Robbie realised that he had suddenly started filming in slow-mo <laughs> prior to me going down the centre line. I mean, I did ask him to get some footage of my warm-up but clearly that didn't happen. But at least this confirms that I was brave enough to have a good canter around before trotting down the centre line. Um, it actually took quite a while for the judge to ring the bell, so yeah, I did a lap of the arena and then I asked for canter, had a nice little canter, then had a trot and then potted down the centre line. Thankfully, yeah, I was long enough for Rob to realise that he was filming in slow-mo and he quickly corrected it, which is good because we did a lovely test, which I'm about to comment on oh I better find the test sheet quick go find it Tina I don't actually have it I only have it on my phone I didn't stay around and collect it but yeah right let's get down that center line because this will go on in slow-mo forever so yeah you can see I came back to trot let him have a stretchy trot and the bell or horn still hadn't gone so I was like okay we'll have a little walk I need to conserve some of this energy it was very very hot as you can see most people are competing with just show shirts on, no jackets, because it was El Scorchio. So we brought him back to walk and then just mooched around thinking, are they gonna ring it in a minute or honk it? I can't remember if it was a bell or a horn. And then they did and I was like, 
No, I don't feel ready to go down the centre line yet. I'll wake him up a little bit again, so I did another circle. And then down I went. And he felt nice. He did feel nice. Very nice. He felt like a very good pony. Now, I thought the centre line didn't feel that straight. Yeah, if you look, I can see that front right leg quite a bit. But that's just being over-analytical. Oh, what did we get? What did we get? I haven't got the test off. I'm rubbish at voiceovers. We got a seven. Could have had more flexion between H and E, but nicely forwards. And then we come all the way down and do a 15 meter circle at E. And we got a seven and a half for that circle. I think his trot looks lovely there. It looks nice and forward and jolly. And then we come across and we get a seven again down the center line again not quite straight if i'm looking at it and it didn't feel it but obviously it looked okay to the judge just a little bit like ooh, ooh, ooh. i was probably not applying quite even pressure with my legs um but it was it was still fairly accurate um then we come around to another 15 meter circle this one got a seven not a seven and a half um, but yeah, still lovely, pleased with that. If anything, I'd say it's probably not quite as forward as the first circle. But very well behaved, and you, you can just see he's listening to me, bless him. Oh, a oh, little bit of a wobble there, but a minuscule wobble. Now we change the rain, KXM. And my comment, it's a seven, and it says balanced transition transition to be oh we do a transition to halt yes so we change the rein and then we come around and we halt in front of the judge halt definitely could have been better but like they said it was a nice balanced transition quite square not quite square but obedient and another seven and then we do medium walk in that corner and then free walk all the way across the diagonal for which he did a lovely free walk as he generally always does unless he's wired and he jog trots but generally when he walks he does a nice stretch he over tracks and he has a good forward walk on him and we got a seven and a half for that now we pick up back to medium walk and trot again straight away in that corner and then canter straight away in the next corner we got a seven and a half for that and a seven and a half for this circle that comes up. Sorry, I'm jumping the gun here a bit. So yeah, change rein seven and a half, working trot to canter seven and a half, and then 20 meter circle at C, which we've just started there. Seven and a half and comments of active. You can see he sat back on his hocks and he's yeah, cantering lovely through from behind. His contact's lovely and I'm very pleased. I was pleased with that turn. Another seven and a half for the change rein and then transition down to working trot which sometimes I'm a little bit doubtful of, but he did that lovely, oh, yeah, for a seven and a half. Back to the transition up to Kanda, wasn't the best, but she still marked us a seven. Could be more fluent in transition. You just saw he came above the bit, but then carried on in a nice balanced Kanda. So it was literally just that millisecond of transition where I probably didn't do the right things with my hands maybe, or didn't sit quite still enough. The circle at sea again, 20 meters, seven and a half nice energy again he sat nicely on his hocks on the contacts nice and then changed the rein across and back to working trot we're a slightly bit late and not in the best outline seven but no comments but i remember that not feeling as good as the first one but that's just being over analytical it was still nice down the center line again seven and a half marks off straight and i remember thinking please do a nice halt banks because i think this test has gone quite well Boom, have a nice square hole for an eight. Clever, clever pony, very chuffed, delighted. I'm proud of myself for being brave enough to wear spurs too. <laughs> it was definitely the right decision that day because without them I think we would have been a bit more lethargic. He's a very good boy, got big pats. Sweaty messes after dressage, but he was a good boy. A little bit tense in places I think, but haven't watched it back yet. You know when it always feels a bit worse than it actually is. It was accurate. Leading him back though, because it's so hot. I was like, I'm going to get off his back straight away, bless him. Wheeling, aren't you? Quick turn around now. I've got to walk the show jumping and then get changed and get straight on, because 
My show jumps is 11, I'm across country is 11.45. Are you two having snuggles? Hey? Is he chilled? Oh. Not now mum's back, he heard my voice, did he? Oh, stop saying that on my vlogs, you'll get in trouble. Right, Banks? All right, may as well just get tacked up and get on. The course looks nice. I know my dress our score. What is it? 26.7. Oh, yeah, I think that deserves an eight. You told me it looked good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you I'll did. Tell you when you oh, it's times like these. That, you know, I haven't I've been walking the course that you end up having a pole show jumping. But hey ho, here's what it is. Babes, sure, I'm vlogging. Um, we all know that I come out purely to enjoy my pony, not to necessarily be competitive. Oh, I could do with a swig of that. Thank you. Oh, I don't really need to be filming myself drink, but. These bottles keep it nice and cold. I was very fortunate to get two angles of my show jumping round, so I thought I would put that first one in that was kindly filmed by Jem, the same lovely lady that printed my numbers. And then Rob I was filming, I thought I'd do a quick voiceover of. Um, as you can see, I took a right rein approach into fence one, round nicely over fence two, and then I knew fence three and four was a related distance, and I had planned to push for the four strides. However, got there, landed and thought, no, we're going to fit five in. <laughs> so we did, which wasn't a problem because he's very clever with his feet. We had a little trip here, I think. Yeah, just stumbled ever so slightly and came around this corner, power on, over the spread, two nice strides over the upright. And then here, I was like, oh, this is a sharper turn, actually. Sit back, a little bit go on. Got a little bit close, but again, very careful. Bless his heart. And now power on again a bit for the triple bar, which he jumped lovely. And then just as we went to go around here, a little bit disunited, so I brought him back to the trot. I did not want to mess up the planks, which was the final fence, which was seven strides. Which we did amazingly. Lots of big pats and clever pony. Chuffed. <laughs> Now I would love to say that this was Banksy choosing to go this fast out of the first few fences, but it wasn't, I was really pushing him. He didn't, he was sticky, he didn't feel keen leaving the start box, he was sticky over number one, and again got very close to number two. And you can see how much I'm kicking there, just going away from the jump, and it makes me feel so guilty, because normally he's pulling my arms off. So basically, I didn't have any other footage and I bought the photos, and not even because I love them that much. I do love the show jumping ones, but because I just want to look at his face. Oh, he tried his heart out, bless him. But he wasn't himself at all. I have never had to use my leg and voice and encourage him so much cross country in my life. And I feel really guilty for making him go as far as I did, if I'm honest. What did we get to? Eight, nine, fence ten, I think it was. Was that fence 10? He said no. Here he is saying no. I don't want to jump that, Mum, because I don't think I want to land it. And I asked him a third time, and bless him, he did jump it on the third attempt. But look, look how close to the jumpy lands. That makes me really sad. I feel so bad for asking him three times. Anyway, I then retired straight after that fence. I was like, we're not continuing.
Bless him. Who set your edge off, you silly tart? <laughs> Sums up my cross country round and I didn't even fall off. May as well have. Oh dear, I told you I was having deja vu from this time two years ago. Oh, that ain't gonna work. I had two stops at the Trocano. Oh, never mind. Here's what it is. He was telling me he didn't want to jump it. Proper slam on the brake stop as well, because whenever he normally, if he does a stop, it's a spooky run out. He's walking all right, eh? Hey? He's walking all right. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's all right, but literally every single jump I was kicking and kicking, and I had a lot smaller spurs on. It was effort, so after I got over it the third time, I was like, right, retire. There's no point in carrying on. Oh, you did on. jump it third time. Gutting, though, was in the lead, hey? Mm. You did jump it third time. Jumped it third time, but I had to get him over it like that, which I don't like doing. Oh, okay. No. All right. Anyway, as long as he's okay, that's the off. main thing, hey? I switched it off by mistake. Uh, what, all of it? No. Yeah. <laughs> you switched it off by mistake. Where did you get to? Yeah, I, I said, that's a venting for you. That's fine. Two out of three ain't bad. Oh. Get your studies out and get you home, my sweetheart. Oh, it's not like you say no, it's going to be talking mad. Of the future and what's gutting when you were in the lead. Yes, it's the way that is. Like I said, we'll never know. Eventing for you. Very rare. Very rare? Very, very rare. All three phases do well on the same day. Can you do not like hot weather? It was effort over nearly every single. Oh, why did I do that? Effort over every single fence, wasn't it, boyo? I don't think there was any that you took in your stride naturally. Which is a shame. Perhaps we will have to stick to the S. We'll start the S even. Can't stick to something we haven't started yet, but think about taking it up. It's all home in one piece, and that's amazing, isn't it? Hey, tired. Too hot for you. Too hot for you. Mummy got treaties. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. I do the full debrief in the car because I don't really know how I feel. I do feel sad, but most important that he's okay. Oh, we better put your ice boots on. Actually, your legs are quite cold. But yeah, best put them on because the ground is pretty firm. He's my Irish bog pony. He likes muddy ground and wet weather, don't you? Hey, eh? you don't like being too hot, that's for sure. Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night like I'm leaving all the time. Nearly home. And thankfully being chauffeur driven by amazing hubby. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Even if you did call me a silly tart, I've just put a post on my Instagram explaining what happened. And everybody's laughing at you saying about the silly tart. Because <laughs> I jumped off with my hair jacket on. Clipped in still. Another uh, five quick questions. Five? I'm sorry. About 17? No! <laughs> not five. I'm a little bit deflated, I will admit, I'm not gonna lie. But more because I'm a bit worried about pregnancy. He never not likes he do, Okay, he does not like jumping when it's really hot, and it is really hot. It's tw showing 26. Very hot. But what can you do when you enter an event like two weeks or three weeks before? And then that way, well, you don't just withdraw, do you? Like, I don't know, plan of action, clip him, I think. He's gonna have to have his first summer clip and he's gonna get a little bit trimmer because he's a little bit porky. Obviously, after Pontesball, he had five days off when he didn't have any pads in because of his feet. Um, so yeah, maybe he's a little bit unfit as well. Or maybe his feet are still feeling a little bit sore even with the pads in. Might be why he didn't wanna jump off the hard ground. At Pontesport, we had lots of takeoffs and landings, you know, like the um, sand Sam. in front and after. Anyway, it, although we had the two stops at the Trocadero, it wasn't every single jump on the course was an effort. Which was, which was just like, why am I, why am I technically beating? I'm not beating him, but why am I forcing him or really having to encourage him to jump these jumps? He loves cross country. That isn't him. I probably should have just retired sooner, to be honest. I remember going up the step out of the water, being like, "Come on!" Banksy and we ended up trotting over the sea element the hay cart as well we got so close to it and I was like he's gonna bank it so probably in hindsight if he feels like that in future going out over the first three or four in hindsight I should have had a lion this morning <laughs> I will retire him well, sooner because that, yeah 
it wasn't nice and he was so he just stood in the the starter man and in the start box said i've not seen one so calm all day because he just stood in the start box like mm. and you guys know from previous videos what he can be like at the start box with his leg going and mini rears so yeah definitely blaming it on the weather I think I rode well. I think I did all I could, and then. I had a good dressage and really uh, nice show jumping. Come clattered a couple. Yeah, we did. I just watched the show jumping back, and we did hit a couple. But That's right. oh, look at the traffic breaking. Um, yeah, that is eventing for you. Two out of three isn't bad. It's just typical that when you're two, put you in the lead. <coughs> which, ironically, two years ago I did the same at the exactly the same event. I was on twenty-two point two five then. Clear show jumping had a silly spooky run out. Today wasn't anything silly or spooky. Today was Banksy saying, Mum, I don't want to jump. Which just makes me a bit worried because everybody oh, knows don't. he's my world, he's my baby. No, I am. You're not my baby, you're my husband. <laughs> anyway, we'll see how he is. We're taking for a moochie mooch tomorrow. It might just be that his feeties are a bit sore or that he was just way too hot. Or he just said not today, Mum. I mean, they're allowed to say not today, Mum. It's like when we don't fancy doing something, isn't it? You say that all the time. I've got a headache! <laughs> At least we can say that. Horses can't. Anyway, he did say that by going, nah. He did jump it on the third attempt, but I literally whipped him. And I don't ever do that. So I kind of wish I hadn't, to be honest with you. But hey-ho, you live and you learn. I've got nothing else to say, so I'm going to end the vlog. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm meant, I'm meant to be there in two weeks doing the 100 BE. So we just have to see how he is, whether I reassess that and maybe do the 90 again just to get some confidence uh, back up. Be fine. See how he is. We'll do a bit of show jump. We might go. It's just so hard with the ground. Can't even go cross country schooling anywhere because the ground's so hard. See whether we have some rain and some. Yeah. See what happens. <coughs> anyway, this is a fascinating topic of debate at the end of the vlog. The ground is hard. Anyways, going to... We're nearly home. We're stuck in traffic. Get the boy out and let him have a nice roly-poly. And we'll see you very soon for another vlog. Not sure what it'll be or when or where. And I'm not buzzing as my last vlog where I was doing my fun show jumping jump off. That was good fun. Maybe we will just stick to show jumping. But I do miss not having the cross country buzz today. I had all my minute markers on my arm and everything. Me too. Here's what it is. Yeah, well, it's, I felt sad for you because you come and spend your day with me and then I'm like, sorry, Robbie, I didn't do very good. I gave up a golf competition today for Did you? Well, you go, you're playing golf loads over the next two weeks. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this because we are just blabbing. It's like being with Emily. <laughs> Em's still up there. She was just about to go cross country when I left. I'm sure you will check out her vlog to see how they got on and over and out from me and i'll see you all very very soon thank you for your support as always do like comment and subscribe if you don't already and over and out because i'm just repeating myself rob end the vlog for me babe goodbye from her just goodbye keep on doing what you do doing what you do just keep on doing what you do you like to what you like